What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phase 6, your source for music, business, motivation, and support. It's your boy, Sir Love, and today I have a very exciting topic for you guys. I'm not even sure what I labeled this because when the idea hit me, I just knew it had to happen to you guys. But as a general, what we're going to be talking about is why you need a team to be successful in the music business. I lay out a lot of stuff you know, throughout all my videos in reference to the business and the money and the plan and all this other type of stuff. But why do you need a team? Because you can't do any of that unless you have this to get it done. All right? Let's talk about it. Phase six. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this thing. All right? In order to be successful in this business, there are a lot of components. There's a lot of moving things that has to happen, all right? One, it has to be some type of talent. It has to be some type of ambition. It has to be some drive, knowledge, network, money, people that can play a creative role, people that can play a business role, people that can play a paperwork role, people that can play a legal role, people that are going to play marketing roles, all sorts of variations of marketing, all sorts of variations of promotions, all sorts of variations of God darn luck, all sorts of variations of blessings, and you need the people to co-sign and only cosign you need is the people. God damn. There's a lot of pieces that are required for you to be successful. So me talking about any one piece of the pie is not going to make you win unless you understand all the pieces. That's the reason why when I watch a lot of people talk about marketing techniques that are just going to make you successful overnight, it gets, it ticks me just a little bit because there's so much more involved than just marketing in order for you to be successful. Case in point, I know an artist in particular that had crazy radio spins, multiple market, doing multiple markets, doing his thing, millions of views on YouTube, didn't make a dime, lost money, went in debt throughout the whole situation. Why? Because he spent the whole time marketing. Marketing is a hole of money. You just keep spending and keep spending and keep spending. There's no cap. You can spend a billion dollars marketing. You can spend five dollars marketing. Right? The thing that you want to do is create profits, but it's going to be hard to do that without a team. So let's talk about why. Okay? Why? Point blank simple, you can't freaking do it all. If you're the manager, you can't do it all. If you're the artist, you can't do it all. Songwriter, producer, whatever. You cannot do it all. You need a team. Now there's some benefits to having a team. Number one, Everybody wants to break something in the music industry. This is a rule to know, okay? So when you're trying to recruit people on your team, the number one leverage you have is breaking something, okay? If you, have, if you are something of value or you have something of value, then that means there's an opportunity for somebody to break that into the industry and become successful, all right? Now, the only debate in that situation is do you have something of value? Now, a lot of times, something of value is very noticeable, right? It means you have, is your record on radio? Is, and, and it's not as hard as you guys may think, but anyway, is your record on radio how many followers do you have how many people are listening and downloading your music on how many platforms are you available how many fans do you have like numbers wise how valuable are you not abstract I'm talented I'm creative people love my shit no like numerically you know how fucking great are you right people love your shit well why aren't the numbers supporting your statement right for some of you guys, you'll be able to answer that very well. Well, listen, I got X amount of spins. I'm on these markets. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. We're touring in these countries or these states, whatever. For another set of you guys, you guys don't even have a clue to how to answer those questions. And it's probably because you need somebody on your team that can help get you on that path, right? For anyone that's watching this video, you got to understand that there's somebody watching this video saying, damn, how the hell do you do that? And there's somebody else saying, okay, I'm doing that, but how do I do this? And then there's someone else saying, I'm doing all of that shit, but how do I go here? Like there's levels to this thing, okay? And each time it's going to be a testament to your team and how successful your team is. Case in point, first thing that you guys got to have, I talked about this in a previous video, you got to have your creative team, your business team, right? Your creative team is going to be handling Actually, let me go back. Business team, creative team, you gotta have your basic production team. Production team, your writer, your songwriter, your producer, your whatever. Can you get a fucking song recorded, right? Then you move forward to your creative team. Your websites, your videos, you know, uh, all the visual things that you guys see. Pictures, photos, stylists, hair, you know, all that shit. You know, all the creative elements of it. What makes you cool, you know? 
marketing ideas. Not, ne not necessarily the plan, but just the marketing ideas. I'm gonna be a mascot, walk in the crowd. My fans wanna know who I am. And I'm gonna take my head off and go, hey fans, I'm fucking here, right? All of that is creative, all right? The next level is the business. Is the paperwork done? Are the records filed? Are they sourced? If it's spinning on radio, can we track it? Which markets is it going in? Can I make sure we follow the trends of where the record is successful so that we can be successful in those markets? Okay, we're not hot in this city. How much money should we invest in that city or should we invest the money in this other city so we can come back around, do shows in that city, make money off the show so that we can reinvest it here? Strategy, overall, like these are the, t the tenets, the things that have to be in line for you to be successful and you cannot do them all. You can't. Artists should never take business calls, in my personal opinion, because emotions always distort the business. I've met artists that really know a lot of shit, surprised the fuck out of me, know a lot of stuff about the business and the market and what to do. But when it comes to their project, it's like they're blinded because they're this close to it. Their face is to the wall and they can't see the big picture because there's passion there. You're never going to be as success successful with your own shit as you are with someone else's because you're passionate, you're too passionate as an artist. And you have to have passion to be a good artist. Artists. It's necessary. Don't lose your passion. That's why sometimes you see some artists become lucrative in other spaces or lucrative in, in the business as a whole and they lose their passion. And you say, how do they lose their passion? Because they started looking at the business instead of the music. And the moment an artist detaches from the music and they get so focused on the business, they normally lose themselves and they're not as good as they once were. And so a lot of times I say, artists stay here, find someone that you can trust. That's why you get married in your management agreement. You, you, you find that partner that you're gonna rock with. Most successful artists have one manager that they've been working with for years because it's that marriage that makes this thing happen. Team building is important. It's very important. Another bonus to team building in general, and I know I'm everywhere with this. I didn't write an outline for this. I was just passionate about this. And I wanted to talk to you guys about it. Another outline, another, another topic. To hit on everyone gets an opportunity to get on when you have a team what do i mean by that when you sign a team you when you, when you get on as a team the label or, or the entity that's signing you or, or giving you money investing in you whatever person is putting money behind you to see you become successful whether it's a major independent or a private investor whoever that is they're not going to want to break up the shit. like why would you why would you buy ford and not buy the factories that doesn't make any freaking sense. Would you just want the, the logo, the name? Okay, if that's the case, then maybe you're not in the business of, of selling cars. Maybe, maybe you have your own factories. The whole Ford situation is going to change. If that's the case, what was is not going to be no more. And as an artist, that's normally not what you want. If you become successful and built a brand, if you're a Ford in this situation, you built a certain brand, a certain type of way, a certain type of experience for the artist, because I know music is going toward experience and not branding, which is a whole nother conversation. But you created this experience and you don't want someone to manipulate and change that experience. And they probably don't want to neither, because if it's already working, they want they want to buy into what's there. So what do they do? They take the whole team. Just when companies acquire companies, they take the whole team. They want the CEO to stay and work, too even though they just cut them a half a billion dollar check. Why? Because they know that the team makes it work. And so if you're in a team, it gives you the opportunity to win. So if you're a person that's a graphic designer, videographer, uh, if you're a person that's an executive, a business a &R, whatever it is that you are and you're trying to be successful in the space, everyone knows the best way to do that is to partner up with a team. Whether that team is on already, or whether you're creating that team from the scratch, or whether that team is somewhere in the middle and you're building it up. Getting on with a team is the only way you're gonna win in this space and so if you work for a record label and you intern for years and you buy every you get everyone coffee and all that other fuck shit right if you do that which i've done so i don't mean to call it fuck shit because i've done it myself all right it's nothing wrong with doing it but in that in that in that circumstance that's the team that you join see what i'm saying so being a part of a team is success is, is necessary to be successful and i want everyone to dream about creating or being a part of a major team because and not just major not labels but a, a successful team because by doing that it guarantees your success and it guarantees you the opportunity to, put, to pivot in the future Mo like if you think about like Rockefeller records and I use them as an example because you know they really came from the bottom they had Cinderella story whatever okay a lot of the executives that started off, you know, handing out flyers like, you know, Lenny Santiago, you know what I'm saying, are now major, you know, players at other labels and situations now. 
Because when you work as a team and you understand that process, it's easy to kind of move around and help you be successful in other places. It helps you pivot. When you have a one-off hit, when you're the, when you're the tastemaker that's always doing some the next trendy, catchy shit, but you're not breaking nothing new in the market, you're not bringing nothing new to the market, you're not a part of nothing, you lose. You lose. And we're about success. I don't know everything. This is like a rant. I'm not yay, but this is like a rant. Real talk. Team building is important. I don't know everything, but I know a lot about a little, a little about a lot. Give you guys everything that I got. It's your boy, Sir Love. Thank you for your time. If you watched the other video where I was wearing the same outfit, you probably recognize that this is a spinoff because it's necessary. I want you guys to understand the passion, understand how necessary it is to win out here in the market. And I want you guys to win out here in the market because it's possible, but you can't do it alone. And you need to start taking the steps necessary to build your team, which I talked about in the previous video, so that you can win. www.phasebi.com. Check it out. Let's get out of here. Sports and love for you. If you need some marketing motivation, you can learn to transform your life and build your own empire. Yeah. With Sir Love. Real talk, no chase. Yeah. Real talk, no chase. Yeah. Real talk, no chase. Yeah. Real talk, I said real Sir talk, I said real talk, no chase. Yeah. Real talk, no chase. Yeah. Real talk, no chase. Yeah. Yeah. With Sir Love.